Hello everyone, what's up? It's your girl Jasmine here and thank you so much for coming through to my channel today because I have quite a bit of things that I want to talk about. I've been loose natural for about a year. I combed out my locks back in January of this year. I started going on my loose natural hair journey and I have found a couple of products that I love and I probably will continue to use for the rest of my natural hair journey and I wanted to share them with you all but before we get into that make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications that way whenever I post a video you are going to be the very first to know. Alright so without further ado let's get into it. I think I'm gonna go through all of my hair products step by step in the way that I do my hair as far as washing, conditioning, deep conditioning, all that jazz. So let's get into it. When it comes to shampoos, I have two favorites. I really can't decide on them because both of them offer me really great slip and they're not drying and it's just really great all around. The first one I am referring to is the Camille Rose Naturals Sweet Ginger Cleansing Rinse. Now, you think that a cleansing rinse isn't actually a shampoo, but this suds up really, really nice. And when I wash my hair with this, I can even detangle as I'm washing because this has so much slip. I actually don't sense any ginger in it. That's cool because I still love it anyways. This is hella expensive. I'm just gonna point that out, uh, but it is great. It's sulfate free, great for type four naturals. I'm like 4C-ish in case you wanted to know. And I am pretty much almost done. So I'm about to here, I'm like almost done with that. I do have another shampoo that I've been using on and off because I don't want to finish the shampoo just yet. So I've been using a shampoo bar. This is the Moroccan Lava Clay Shampoo Bar. This has rosemary in it and I think other essential oils, peppermint essential oil most definitely. At first I really wasn't a fan of shampoo bars but you know what, this lasts a long time. A little bit goes a long way. This definitely has a menthol-y type of scent and it will provide your scalp with a really nice cooling sensation. It's great, I absolutely love it. And I actually did not buy this. I got this in one of my gift bags and I just decided to use it because I didn't wanna finish this one. The slippage on this is quite decent as well. It doesn't strip your hair very much and you can still detangle while you're washing your hair with this. After washing, I usually like to put a conditioner and the conditioner I've been absolutely loving is the Carol's Daughter Almond Milk. This is a ultra nourishing hair mask. Yo, sometimes before I shampoo, I detangle and I usually use this when I wanna detangle before the shower. Like if I want a quick shower experience, I usually put this on first, then shampoo, then I'm out the shower. That way it's like super quick for me. This right here has so much slip and this product was recommended to me by Live Naturally Love here on YouTube. We have the same type of hair texture and I like getting her recommendations because usually she has some bomb recommendations and this smells absolutely amazing. And I'm I'm pretty much done here. I'm pretty much done. I've bought like three tubs of this. It's something serious. Sometimes I even deep condition with this. So if I'm doing a longer shower and I'm washing, I, I then put on the conditioner and then I go under my hair steamer. So that's a really good thing for my hair as well. My hair loves a good steam. And this right here <laughs> will get you your life. Another one of my favorite things is this spray bottle. I actually have two of these. This one is for my hair and I absolutely love it because it doesn't give you like a harsh stream, but it doesn't even give you like a, like a crazy dispersed stream of water. It's like a beautiful mist, like, and it goes on for a long time. 
time. I would spray my hair, but the way my edges are set up right now, all late and stuff, and the bottle looks wonky right now because I do put water mixed in with essential oils, and one of the essential oils I like to put into here is tea tree oil. So I usually mix in some water and tea tree oil into this spray mister that I got from Amazon. And I'll be sure to link everything in the description box down below in case you wanted to purchase or check anything out for yourself. But I highly recommend everything that I'm talking about here. So tea tree oil is really good for my scalp. My scalp seems to really love it. And I feel like it's been helping to calm inflammation. I do sometimes have scalp inflammation and this really helps to offset that. Sometimes I mix it with other essential oils too to create like a super saiyan oil, but this right here is the MVP for 2018. When it comes to hair butters and creams, the only one I've been using as of late is this coconut mango hair butter from Kinky Tresses. I've talked about this in several videos before but I have to stress again just how amazing it is. One, it smells amazing. Two, it's not super greasy. And three, I feel like it leaves my hair very soft and fluffy and supple. And I just absolutely, I love how it smells. And like, I'm almost done with this. Like I'm on my last quarter of this product. And I usually use this when I do my two strand twist roll style because my two strand twist outs come out bomb when I use this. So I highly recommend it. This tub was about 20 bucks and the shipping wasn't so bad. I got it maybe a week and change after purchasing. So I highly recommend this for like 4C naturals who want like very soft hair that smells good because this smells amazing. <laughs> All right, so I have these hair clamps right here. I purchased these at my local beauty supply store. Now these seem like very simple, basic hair clamps, but what I really love about them is that they don't have any teeth. I like that because I'm very tender headed and I can just put this on wherever and it holds fairly securely. So for those of you who have like sensitive scalps and are just tender headed, I recommend these because you don't gotta worry about it gripping your hair all the way up to your scalp because nobody has time for that pain, okay? These I got for maybe like two dollars 1.99 or something like that and really all i need are four of these clamps and i'm good to go when i do my two strand twist rows it's good okay i have these perm rods here i never realized the importance of perm rods especially when it comes to the two strand twist rows but yo i look i vouch for perm rods okay they just add the cutest little curl at the end of your twist out and like it just really creates a nice well-rounded shape especially when you are doing two strand twists i highly recommend them and i've tried two strand twists without perm rods and they're cute or whatever but i certainly love the curl ends a lot more and i have a whole bunch of different sizes actually um well, this white box right here has even more perm rods and I wanna get even smaller ones. So I usually use the white ones to perm rod the hair and I usually don't have enough of the white ones. So I end up going one size up basically to the like peach or apricot perm rods. And I usually put the peach ones at the back of the hair because I want the hair in the front to have extra curly ends so yeah perm rods are awesome they really are all right the next thing I want to talk about I highly recommend to every single curly girl out there I absolutely love this leatherwood brush this brush was created by a hairstylist I think she does Issa Rae's hair on Insecure. I think her name is Felicia Leatherwood and this is the Felicia Leatherwood brush. This comes in black and in hot pink. I honestly wanted the black but you know what I'm totally fine just as long as it works the same. This has so many teeth and they don't have any balls at the end which I like 
because I feel like the balls at the end, like with like a regular paddle brush, it over time can snag on your hair, which is very painful. This is great. This is absolutely flexible. I don't know if you can like see, but like it has so many different sections. It's flexible, bendable, and this detangles my hair like a dream. I first start off at the ends of my hair and then I go up to the root. Completely detangled, completely amazing. This just takes the guesswork out of detangling my hair. I don't really use my fingers as much as I use this brush because this really gets into all the tangles, the knots, just everything and anything. And I highly recommend this to those who have really curly, kinky hair that want a proper detangling brush. I highly recommend this, highly. You will have this forever. Another thing when it comes to like styling, Jane Carter. I've always been a fan of Jane Carter hair products, but this wrap and roll hair mousse is my absolute favorite. I feel like compared to other hair mousses out on the market, this doesn't leave my hair feeling like it has a film. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I, I have a thing about mousse. Like I, like if I run my hair, if I run my fingers through my hair and I feel something, I hate that. I hate the feeling of it feeling like there's a film over top my hair. This doesn't do that to my hair, not one bit. It smells pretty good and it holds pretty good as well. I cannot recommend this wrap and roll mousse enough. The last two products kind of go hand in hand, but I'm going to just talk about them each individually. And the first thing I'm talking about is the edge control that I've been using as of late. Girl, I don't know if I've been hiding under a rock or what, but I think I found my holy grail edge control. I'm talking about this Curls Blueberry Bliss Curl Control Paste. It's absolutely amazing. I'm actually, my edges are late with this now, and this does such a good job of holding your hair, and it doesn't give you that greasy looking edge control look, which I'm just not a fan of. This smells really good and like you can tell, you can just tell by the type of edge control just by feeling it and looking at it from the jar that it has a really strong hold. And this right here has a really great hold. A little bit goes a very long way with this. And if you guys have any recommendations for other edge controls, I'm definitely willing to try them out. So definitely leave your recommendations in the comment section down below. The very last thing I want to talk about is a edge control brush. Now, before discovering this product, I've been using like a regular old toothbrush, but I recently went to a hair event and they gifted me this edge control brush. I cannot rave about this more. I'm talking about this Baby Tress edge control brush. So it has a edge control brush on one side, it has the comb on the other side, and it has like a pointed edge so that you can part your hair any which way. This is absolutely amazing and I love I love that they came out with this because, you know, you don't have to use your toothbrush, you know? And I feel like the way that this is designed with like the point, the triangle shaped brush, you know, on either side, it's really great for getting into those nooks and crannies and making sure your hair is swirled, okay? Like wavy. And it comes even with like a little cap to like, protects it or whatever it's super super cute I'm not sure where you can get this but I'm gonna do my research and I'll be sure to link everything as I said in the description box down below all right so that is all for my hair favorites of 2018 hopefully you enjoyed and if you did please give me a big thumbs up I want to know what your hair favorites are because I love like discovering new products let me know what you've been loving for your hair in 2018 in the comment section down below let's have this conversation okay I want our hair to be elevated in 2019, even more so. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and turn on notifications. That way, whenever I post a video, you are going to be the very first to know. And that is pretty much it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I am signing out. I want to thank you all so much for watching and supporting and subscribing to my channel. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace. Out. <laughs>